Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing this card reading from the Algarve in Portugal. It's a beautiful evening. It's a full moon. I'm sitting outside, so you might hear sounds that you normally don't hear when I do my readings. So I actually have, this is a request from a viewer. Uh, so if you have a request, just let me know down there. And don't worry, I've, I've seen them all and I'm, I'm accum accumulating them. I might end up doing a big Q&A session. But this one I thought was very fascinating. Is palm reading real? Is there some merit to palm reading? Is palm reading real? I thought that was actually a pretty cool question. Um, is there any merit to palm reading? Is palm reading real? Is palm reading real? Is palm reading real? I thought that was a great question, so I thought I'm going to bring that one to you. Is palm reading real? Cards are right. Oh, look at how chatty they are. They've been waiting for this question. Eight of rods in reverse. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> Ace of rods in, in reverse. So that's a no. Two of swords in reverse. Ace of pentacles upright. Four of rods in reverse. You know what? It's a good way to make money, but it's not real. Oh, what popped out here? The chariot. No, it's there's there's no control factors to it. Um, no, no, it's not. All right. Thank you for watching Page of Rods in Reverse. You know what? It actually gives you false information. Actually gives you false information. Um, Five of Swords. Some things might be right. So let's say, um, it, like maybe sometimes some things are right. But overall right now, I'm getting a no. Two of Pentacles in reverse, no. Ace of Swords upright. Um, now that's interesting. Look how many Aces we have here. We have three Aces on the table. Two are upright. But my Ace of Rods here right off the hop is no, it's wrong. I think there might be some truth in it. The Emperor in reverse, no. That's absolutely not. The sun in reverse. No, 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 no. The cards are going, no, 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 no. So I don't know if I need to read anymore. Um, if this was yes, and I was, was going to go into, you know, are the, you know, is the lifeline real? Is this real? Is that real? But I don't even have to do that. I've just got no, 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 no. I think somebody made it up. Um there's some parts that that could be truthful um it's, it definitely is a truthful way to make money um that's absolutely the truth but there's no control there's no um rhyme or reason um and especially the lifeline here right because four of, of wands upright could be a birth especially with the eight of rods and they're both in reverse, so that's telling me the lifeline is is uh, no, is that's a big no. Also, the emperor is Aries, and that's the birth of the zodiac. So no, no, nothing about the lifeline is correct. Um, there is something true about it, though. Something rings true about it. Um, there's something that they did get right. Uh, but it's not the lifeline. I don't know that much more about palm reading to really read into it a little bit more. Uh, but palm reading is no. That's a no. Um, and this is such a short little video. Maybe I'll just quickly ask. Let's ask about face reading. Let's ask about face reading. Now, face reading to me would be more interesting because your soul comes through your eyes and on your face. I used to work for a funeral home. And, uh, you know, when you're preparing the body for uh, visitation and I've the whole time I worked there, not one family said, wow, you did a great job. Looks exactly like my auntie or my grandmother or my dad. Nobody said that. And the reason is, is because their soul isn't there coming through their face and holding 
and 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 holding their face so you can put as much makeup as you want to do the hair exactly the same it'll never look the same because the soul isn't there the person isn't there so let's ask about face reading is face reading with real because that was such a quick oh, boom done is face reading real is face reading real is there is it accurate is it accurate is it real is it a real modality face reading face reading again i'm i'm gonna let you know i'm quite ignorant about face reading so the i'm actually um when i when i don't know about a subject is actually better because then i just read exactly what the cards are telling me i'm not trying to read in anything that might or may not be there strength in reverse seven of cups in reverse five of pentacles in reverse seven of pentacles upright and the hanged man okay so no again no it's not real it doesn't do anything if anything it confuses people it gaslights people but you know what it does do it opens people up to different ways of looking at things that's what it does that's its main function is that maybe now you get a face reading and they tell you something and um it opens the door to other ways of looking at things from a different point of view. Oh, the devil. Three of rods. And the four of rods in reverse again. Okay, yeah, no, there, there, it's... The devil's in the details I keep getting dropped into my brain and here, the patience. And I think in some regards, it's like you, you're looking into things. Like maybe if you see somebody has like deep wrinkles around, you know, in between the nose, it's like, oh, are you angry because you're frowning all the time, right? I think, I think this is something that you can really reach into. Oh, the tower. <laughs> And the page of rods, yeah, you know what? You can get a lot of false information and it can really upset you um, with the devil in the tower here. It's actually almost um, dangerous uh, to get a face reading if they, if they tell you something is, is off. Uh, page of swords, yeah, you know what? Um, a lot of it's made up. Um, the only good thing about it is that it does open the door for you to explore other other modalities of um you know obviously if you're getting a face reading it's because you want to know a question or or something and uh maybe might be unsatisfied with the answer so you look elsewhere for it or you know maybe the face reader does say geez have you had that mole looked at or something like that um it, there's knight of pentacles yeah no you don't know anything much more than than when you first sat down at it this knight of pentacles here is it like look it's just somebody sitting there looking at you um it could be dangerous news um but also sometimes when you hear like like news like you know, again i'm so ignorant about that i, I i'm not saying I know anything about it whatsoever, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying. So let's say the face reader says, um, uh, oh, you have a puffy left eye. Maybe you should get your lungs looked at or something like that. And then you go and you explore that and, and maybe they do find something wrong. So in that regard, there's something to it. But in other regards where they say, oh, you know, um, you have, they could tell you like false information as well that send you off in a direction that maybe upsets you. Um, you know, if they tell you false information, like, oh, your, your, your spouse is cheating on you. And then, and then you get into a real paranoid state, right? Because it sets you off in, into a direction that you start to look at other things. Um, so yeah, I, face reading, I think face reading is is dangerous and it's also a good way just to make money um and the fool car page of cups eight of swords yeah you know what oh judgment it it will trap you into thinking that um it's 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 a lot of false information 
I mean, there could be some good information come on out of it. Like, for example, like I said, you know, you go for a face reading and, and maybe they see a mole that, that looks a little off and they tell you, go check out the doctor or, you know, when your eyes are, are yellow, have you had your liver checked, that kind of thing. I don't know if they do that, but if they do that, that part of it is okay. Um, but if they tell you something um mentally disturbing that could really it could really upset you with the false information and it could really trap you and put you into um uh, a victim mode victim mode oh my face reader told me i'm stubborn and so then you just you don't you you stay stubborn that kind of thing um which you maybe probably were never stubborn right uh, so anyways, it's a, it's just a good way for them to, it's a money-making scheme. That's about it. Sorry. <laughs> I hate to slam other modalities because, you know, obviously what I do is a tarot card reader. Um, but, you know, some of these things aren't monitored. Neither is tarot. I mean, there's no such thing as a tarot police, but I mean, um, you have a, you can see for yourself the illustrations on the cards and, and whatnot and see the story developing rather than something just coming, you know, just because he, he or she say they are a face reader and they know what they're doing. You don't know that or a palm reader. Um, you don't know that there's, you know, you have to be, use a lot of discernment with these things. Let's just put it that way. Use, use your discernment because some of it can trap you into negative spiral. Some of it can help you, but some of it can also trap you into a negative spiral. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <coughs>